All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some mono black value to kick off our 12 hour rank up stream today. As you can see, we got a lot of really strong decks that we're gonna be playing over here in ranked. And we're starting in platinum because there was just the reset in rank two days ago. Hey, hey Alexis Bros, so keep it up buttercup. Well, thank you so much there for that continued support. I appreciate that. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to, we're starting with Platinum and we're gonna see how close we can get to Mythic in one 12 hour period. Uh, we'll be playing, you know, like five matches with each deck like we normally do. Get your... <laughs> Sorry, Hawkeye is all excited about uh, this deck. And rightfully so, I'm starting off with it because this is a deck that I've been really wanting to get back to. This is a, the deck that we played the very first, our very first Throne of Eldrain deck here was our Ayara deck for mono black value and um, had a lot of fun with it, but I think that we needed some upgrades, so we're doing that and uh, wanted to get back at it. So instead of, you know, we had Plague Crafter before, and instead of Plague Crafter, um, we've kind of found out that Murderous Rider just really is the way to go because I'd have like Plague Crafter and my opponent would have Oko and I couldn't deal with the Oko because they would just have like a Gilded Goose to sacrifice to Plague Crafter and so on. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going with Murderous Riders. This card uh, is, like, we knew this card was going to be good, and it has not lived, um, or has not let anybody down. It's lived up to expectations, for sure. So we got Murderous Riders in there. And then I had Orzhov Enforcers as a two-drop, an extra two-drop that, that could trade with with stuff with having the Death Touch. Um, will you stop? <laughs> he is just in a biting mood. Um and in, and it was a good creature to sacrifice, you know, being multiple bodies. But instead, I'm going to try out Dreadhorde Invasion. So we got three, we got three Dreadhorde Invasions in that slot instead, because Dreadhorde Invasion is a card that uh, works really well with a Yara, where you get to, you know, make a creature. You can sacrifice the creature to draw a card. Um, you lose a life with the Dreadhorde Invasion um, during your upkeep, but then whenever it enters, if you have a Yara, you also gain a life right back. So. You don't actually end up use, losing a life with the two of those. But then also Dreadhorde Invasion can work really well with Rankle, being a very easy creature to sacrifice um, for that third part of Rankle. And if it's just continual creatures, then you just get continual sacrificing. I was going to say like sacrification, but that's not that's not a word. Um, anyway, and then of course with Cavalier of Night also. Uh, we didn't really play Liliana's too much. I think we, we had more... Um, we had more Command the Dreadhorde. I hope we had two Command the Dreadhorde, but I think instead I want like two Lilianas and a Bola Citadel. I think these things could be a little bit more impactful also. So we got some good upgrades. I also didn't play Castle Lock Twain, so that's that was a mistake. So we got some castles in there too. So I, I like our upgrades here, and we're also putting Ashiox in the sideboard for like the Dance of the Man's decks and everything, and maybe even Field of the Dead as well. Um, so there we go. Let's, let's go ahead and, and get to it. So we're starting the day off here platinum tier two with three of these so we need a few more wins get up to diamond and then mythic after that so we got one donation deck to, to play today a best of one donation deck besides that um these are all decks we'll be playing in ranked um and like i said about five matches of each deck so that's 5 10 15 20 25 30 so we should have 30 matches in ranked on our 12 hour stream here we'll see how much we can rank up there in 30 matches. Yeah, um, yep, that's the one that, that allows us to play our cards from our library by just paying life. And then if we have something like a Yara, it doesn't cost us as much life. Hey, Artivan, glad to see you today too. Yeah, mono black decks are always a lot of fun to play, and this one in particular, I, I really like the look of this deck. We've got a lot of good stuff going on here. Another black deck. The the two drops, Eurox Fenlurker and Ravenous Rats, are really underrated. It's not spectacular having just one of those, but you know we have eight of them in the deck, and so if you start doubling, tripling up, you can really 
um, hurt your opponent's hand. Like, you know, by playing one, it's basically like they mulligan to six. You know, like, now that, that card's gone. Yeah, this would be considered a mid-range deck. Yep. So we're definitely both sacrificing. Um, all my cards in hand are pretty good. I could do the we both discard and discard the Liliana. But honestly, the Liliana is probably going to be more valuable than whatever they got in hand. They only have two cards, though. We know they're a red-black deck because they got rid of a mountain. So they could just have like a red card in hand that they're not really going to be able to play anyway. So I'd really love to draw a swamp so I could go Dread Presence, kill the Knight of the Oven Legion. Nope. I think I just Murderous Rider here. Yeah. Hey, Yager. So if they would have activated Knight, then I would have killed it. Hmm. But they didn't, so the Knight was going to stay a 1-2, which is good for Dread Presence. As long as it stays a 1-2, don't really need to kill it. Yeah, they, they exiled a mountain earlier. So they should be red deck. Not doing a very good job drawing that fifth land. Whenever we do start drawing some lands, though, we should be good. You know, like we have a whole lot of cards left. They they just have like a couple of two threes. There we go. Um, So yeah, normally it'd be good to trigger Dread Presence here, but I want to get rid of this thing, this last card. Look at that. Good Fenlurker. Get the double spell in there. That's a little rough. That's really unfortunate.
Ugh, didn't do it. It's really hoping we drew the swamp. Is either they, you know, like they make, is either they make that block or they block with the murderous rider. And. Um. And they block with murderous rider, then they only have two creatures. And if we draw land, then we get to Liliana minus. Just didn't quite hit our land drops. Didn't get to play our cards in our hands. You see, like, they have no cards. We have five cards still. It's unfortunate. I wish with the wrinkle, I would have said we both discard and discard the Liliana, I guess, if I knew that we were going to not draw lands for all those turns. I mean, I, I have 25 lands. I, I don't think my opponent has 25 lands. I think they have less. We're a little unlucky there. Thanks, Netman. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of Citadel. We'll play Soot instead. Get rid of a Midnight Reaper, play an extra Legion's End. Just that. All right, not the best start, but that's just one game. That's why we play best two out of three. It's just one game. We can get games two and three. Yeah, that was one that I definitely thought that we were going to be winning for most of that game. Whereas most of the game was like if we, you know, if we drew a land, we would have taken over by play like Dread Presence, play the land, kill that, kill the one two, and then we would have had our um, extra Swift End available later on in the game, but it just never happened. I like that we're starting off with four lands already. It's good. All right, butcher down. I don't want to say we both draw a card.
yeah, Robert is definitely good. Um, what is your decision on mulliganing a hand? What are your basic needs that make you decide whether or not to do it? Like in general, I understand it will differ for each deck, but do you look at how many lands compared to how many creatures you got or, or what? Um, I think I think the lands is the most important thing, especially in standard. They make sure that you make sure that you have the ability to cast spells. Um, but you just kind of envision like how the like what your hand looks like, how the game's going to go out if it's if it's or how it's how like the game's going to uh, how it's going to go if it's good enough to to win it all um, or not, and you know if you need to change anything like if. If you do need to mulligan, um, but yeah, I th I feel like I feel like what your lands are the most important thing with mulliganing. That was a really good draw. One thing that's a little bit of a problem with Murderous Rider is that whenever Murderous Rider dies, it does go down to the bottom of our library, so we don't get to get it back with Cavalier of Night. I do need to get this Cavalier of Night in play. You know, I need to get Lifelink stuff in play. I don't, I'm a little worried about being at sixth life here. Um, but this is the the best play is playing Liliana next turn, Cavalier of Night. Good help is easy to find in war. If I sacrifice a 2 2, I get to draw a card. So we'll just do that. Waste not, want not. Hey, Blade. Oh, sorry. He said thanks. Never mind. Whatever. But yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh. Down to four. I don't think they'll have four direct damage, will they? So we'll have this Cavalier. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. Okay. They stopped. but effective. Hmm. Basically, I'm not sure if I want to show them another Cavalier of Night. Yeah. Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to burn us out. Yeah, having a good day so far. Just started. Um, this is our first match here. We got a 12 hour rank up stream today. Starting here in Platinum. We'll see how close we can get to Mythic.
So I guess I don't love the Dreadhorde invasions. Let's get this other Legion's End in here. Because, yeah, the, the Dreadhorde invasions making us lose a life every turn is a little rough. I don't know if I really want Duress, though. We've only seen, like, Lava Coil and then Frenzy for spells. Oh, well, we'll, we'll play Dreadhorde Invasions. I mean, they can, you know, sit back and chump block the 7-6 forever and stuff like that. Yeah, Lifelink was vital. We needed that. Double Dreadhorde Invasion? Ugh, I kind of hate that. I mean, I really like four lands. Two drop and dread presents. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. No, duress cannot take adventure cards. Those are creatures while they're in hand. So Blast Zone's kind of a little weird here. And honestly, I, I don't even know if that, that's the best colorless land. I, I kind of want one colorless land, or like one utility land like that. I don't even know if that's the best one. But the reason why it's a little weird is because um, if we would have found a Yara, you know, I didn't want to play it right away in case we found a Yara that we wanted to play. Um, but then with that being said... If, um, with that being said, we want to get it on the battlefield because we, we want to have, like, swamps after Dread Presence, so we don't want to have the Blast Zone for late. Ugh. Worried about that card. Not really an ideal hand here. Like, especially, I mean, against Spawn and Mayhem in particular. The CMC of the adventure creature is the one in the, whatever's in the top. Like the top right, that's the CMC. So like the Midnight Rider is CMC three, Bone Crusher Giant is three, and so on. Like basically the the CMC of the actual creature. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to sacrifice Rotting Registor, but maybe they don't. <laughs> All right, Saza. Your pigs had piglets. Yeah, I hope... Uh, congratulations with that, and yeah, um, yeah, see you over on YouTube. <laughs> name one, name one Wilbur. Okay, well, that worked pretty well for me. They didn't, they could not kill my 7-7. Seven, seven. So they'll have lifelink.
I guess discard a card doesn't matter when they have Frenzy in play. I think I'm going to just sacrifice the Dread Presence. Yeah. Alright. That was good. Gaining 9 life there. So that can block the 7-7, seven, seven, but still got the wrinkle. Hmm. They didn't take out the wrinkle. Any wolf decks planned? Well, our, our Yurok Foods have, you know, is about Wicked Wolf is in there. Um... I could definitely change the Abzan Hero to Abzan Wolves later on. I'm, I'm going to be changing up Abzan Hero a little bit. I just kind of have it on the schedule there. That is true. We could I could have just chose to draw because they had Frenzy. That's a good That's a good call. I don't... Yeah. I guess I just didn't really even think about drawing, losing a life. Didn't really want to lose a life kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I could have definitely done that with Frenzy there. Mogwai. Like Mogwai's YouTube channel. Always makes good Grixis. Like, last one would make a bunch of good Grixis decks. Yeah, we won that. Yep. Dreadhorde Invasion with the lifelink got there. They just never had removal for the Dreadhorde Invasion. Yeah, basically... Oh, so four color wolves with Oko. Okay, because, yeah, it's like, with just Abzan Wolves, Wicked Wolf doesn't really have enough foods to eat. But, yeah, we could go four color wolves. Hannibal, do you have, like, a, a list that you'd like to, to send me with that? Have you been playing it? We need our black fox to go with our black deck. Dun, 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 dun. So invasion makes makes tokens, of course. And um, Midnight Reaper, though, is, is whenever non-token creatures dies, you get to draw a card, deal damage, draw a card. So we don't get to draw a card for our amass token dying. So that's that's something that's a, a little a little awkward. You're like, a, but oh no, Narset. Saying we don't get to draw multiple cards a turn. Yeah, we're doing 12-hour stream today. Hone your prowess. Playing five matches with, with each deck. Oh. That's a heck of a card. I shall miss your company. Kind of want to just play a writer. Yeah. Little three mana two threes. Fires. Mm, such a good cry of the carnarium there. Okay, good. Keep hitting land drops. A little more to get to this Liliana. Yeah, this is definitely an ideal start. Like, you know, we played the Grixis we played Grixis Fires yesterday. This is a really good hand for our opponent being able to 
curve out with turn with fires then sweeper like that's that's just ideal having fires and then sweeper on turn four thanks animal Wait, Curious Pair? Oh, you think you think Curious Pair is worth playing? Would rather have like I don't know, like Incubation Druid or. Now, now one green, one three can't can't matter at all. So you're just playing an an entire card for just create a food token. I like everything else in the deck except for that thing. You gotta have something better than that. No, my Liliana. Oh, I should have just played Liliana last turn. Um, not in mono black, there's not any good answers to Fires of Invention. Not, not in mono black. The focus with thoughtfulness before action. I guess I, I really only need to attack Narset for two and then attack them for five because they're just going to be casting this other Narset anyway. I could have done one extra point of damage there. Of course, the plan here is to just draw the card with the castle. <laughs> I'm trying, Ball. But we'll see. You know, they have they had turn four fires and lots of good stuff. This is a this is a great, great hand. You know, the the blue castle also. It was a great hand for Grixis Fires. We'll have a bunch of duresses after sideboard. The undead make great minions. Loyal and silent. Hmm. Uh, get out of my way. I will rise again. So we basically don't really need to... Didn't really need to use the Murderous Rider on the Liliana because we could just attack Liliana.
a Golos deck is unbeatable with an Oko deck, you, you know, you can you can use Oko to turn Golos into a 3-3. Three, three. So many drawn from dreams. Gotta be running out of those. That's the third one. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. That hurts. I'll try to come back for you. Let's make some more room to fight in. Maybe I shouldn't have done that castle. Now we've set ourselves up for Thought Erasure taking Liliana. There's two Thought Erasures down right now. Two Chandra's down. One Lily. One Bolas. Yeah, dreams have dreams. Yeah, I think the yeah the green castle yeah the green castle could probably make one more mana, but the there's so many good green cards. I don't think we really need to worry about the green castle compared to the blue and black castles. Green green's got enough good stuff going for it. I think they're okay, even if their castle isn't very good. So make a zombie. Trigger a Yara. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> Rise and shine. Gain some life. Oh yeah, I mean it, it can yeah, the it can do yeah, the green The Green Castle can still help, you know, like especially when you have hydrocrasis and stuff. It's not it's not unplayable or anything. Trying to get through this. Mogwai's had basically everything that he's wanted. Still trying to grind. Basically, I have to grind down through like the entire deck with having the castle. Um, gets to choose, and with everything being free, gets to kind of really pick and choose exactly what cards he wants there. Yeah, so this has been a really good game. For sure. And it's it's not it's it's probably not close to being done yet. <laughs> you know, we still, we still probably have a lot to go here at this game. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. Oh. That's not good. Elder spell? That's really not good. Defiance has consequence. I have so I have 10 mana, so then I'd have 6 mana if I activate Castle here. I'm going to activate that before I have anything else in hand. Still 
have much to learn. It's like one more sweeper. It's going to be tough for us to come back. We know we have the three murderous riders down at the bottom of the library. Oh my gosh. Fourth drawn from dreams. Ugh. <laughs> That's... I don't think I'm winning this game. Conceivable. <laughs> you have no I can't really imagine that there's no sweeper there. Like there's gotta be like a ritual of set. Within all these cards. Like we haven't seen a ritual of set yet. I know we saw one, I guess. As far as time goes, 19 minutes over there, 25 minutes over here. All right, so they played their two cards. Nine ten. I can activate this thing three times. Yeah, I could have just had Dread Bretons kill the, the Nickel Bolas. We'll just kill the token now. Basically, no matter what block that thing makes, we get to kill that 4-4. Four four. And I don't, I don't know how many win cons Mogwai's playing over here. You know, like we've gone through one Liliana, two Chandras, two Nicol Bolas, and Enter the God Eternals, or two Enter the God Eternals. So two Enters, two Chandras, a Lily, two Nicol Bolas. All four drawn from dreams. Cast all four drawn from dreams. So we're grinding. We're grinding over here. Ah, a second Lily also. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> second Lily hurts for sure. Rise. I wish I could shuffle my library. I want to shuffle these back. Hmm. 
I've already drawn two Dread Presents. Looks like I may just die from these Dreadhorde invasions and everything. Yeah, we could have a Fable Passage to have a Shuffle effect, but I think that this is a, a really... I think this is just an outlier of a, of a type of game. I don't think this type of game of, like, playing this long and wanting to reshuffle for Murder Striders is going to happen basically ever. Except for, you know, like, it is now, obviously. Like, how many times is this kind of game going to happen? You know, like, one out of 50, one out of 100? Um... I don't, you know, I don't know, maybe like, but basically the, the fabled passage, like early on, you know, like we got to hit like our, you know, having like all like the twos and threes, I don't really want to have a fable passage early on. I think that that will hurt us more than this kind of game will. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Keep an open mind. So that's that's the opportunity cost of of um, I think I have an elder spell on the sideboard. Pretty sure I do. Power, yeah, I do have an elder spell on the sideboard. Smelly, but effective. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oops. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So nine mana, I can activate. Fen Lurker three times. <laughs> I don't know, Northern Plague. Yeah, Mogwai is going to have to speed up his time been 15 minutes so far this is game one we're playing if we play three games i have just the trick for this Because yeah, I needed that four four to be out there so we get to gain the life. This looks like a fun new toy. I think this game probably ends in me just Losing enough life to Dreadhorde Invasion. Lousy servant. 
Servant anyway. So yeah, it looks like Dread Dreadhorde Invasion is going to kill me. Um, which decks recommend for best of one ranking up? Um, on Monday, or let's see, I don't know, like two days ago. Yeah, so that was Monday. Today's Wednesday. On, on Monday, I spent the entire time playing best of one ranked decks and then i played another one yesterday also so check out the youtube channel look like you know just go to the videos there's like six best of one decks there you can check those out <clears throat> yeah dreadhorde invasion i don't love the card but i guess it gave us a lot of stuff I think there's there's with three Ashioks, I think it's a real chance that we can mill out Mogwai here. Not necessarily a good chance, but a, a chance. A Dreadhorde Invasion is okay. I don't really want to draw a second Dreadhorde Invasion, though. So I think we're going to take out one of those. And I guess we're going to just cut a couple Burglar Rats. I don't know. Burglar Rats are, like, pretty nice. With this matchup, actually. Maybe a Wrinkle? Maybe I take out the Wrinkles? I do like the Wrinkles attacking the Planeswalkers. That's kind of it. We'll cut one burglar out. Um, yeah. All right, we lost game one again, but here we go for games two and three. That cry of the Carnarium early on really hurt. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I could cut a Lily. That's true, since I'll bring another six. That could have been a cut. Well, punished for not casting Duress. Yeah, we didn't have a two drop at the time. I wanted to, like, I like casting. I like casting duress on turn two more than on turn one because, you know, you just get to look at an extra card. Anyway, I like you know, like we didn't at the time we didn't have anything that we're gonna be playing on turn two, and so I liked letting them draw that card. Um, 
the only reason why why playing Midnight Reaper would be bad for me is if there is a Cry of the Carnarium. That's the only reason why playing Midnight Reaper would be bad. But, you know, the best case scenario is play Midnight Reaper, there's no Cry, and then Midnight plus Duress. But the only the only thing that gives me pause is Cry of the Carnarium. Um, six cards over there. I think I'd do this. Like this is this is my best play, but if if they have cry, I'm gonna feel bad. Come on. <laughs> Ugh. All right, we still had a good turn. You know, playing the Yurok first, get rid of a fires because they already have they have a backup fires. We we'll got rid of that fires also. This mono black deck feels like Jund. Yeah, we're we're kind of a Jund deck. We don't have quite as good of threats as a Jund deck would normally have. We want one more land, and then we want any of our six mana cards. We got a lot of really good six mana cards. I think I have either four or five six drops in here now. Spark will be mine. Four. Got four you really good six drops. Okay, so there's a six drop. Keeping a Yara activation available against a Liliana minus two. and shine. Fine, I'll leave. That little burglar rats. Being so annoying. Take 
Taking out Liliana. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, yep, I slept pretty well, Samuel. So yeah, I feel I feel good. All right, so likely like ritual of soot. Go down to seventeen. Save the two life. With having the you know castle dreadhorde invasion, the life is certainly valuable. So I have a favorite all time card. Um, I would say it would be Corsair of Crufix. Could name a favorite all time card. Hmm. I want to play Citadel, but we got to play Ryder. Uh, kind of crashed and burned here. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. That hurts. more room to fight in. All right, get that off the screen. That was perfect. Fizzled out. Thanks. I just realized that put me down to three. <laughs> no, stop trying to try to tell me to go down to zero life. Yeah, we got the the Murderous Rider for the life leak, the Dread Presence for the that could have been the life gain the next turn. So I kept the Swamp in hand, make sure to have that for the next turn. So it was never it was never close. We had it the whole time. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll put one wrinkle back in. I'll cut one Liliana. I think that's your browser, David. Or, or yeah, I guess, yeah, you may be talking about the Twitch update. All right, well, I'm definitely turn one duressing here with us having another backup duress anyway. So we're, we got plenty of time over here. I got 15 minutes. So we've got plenty of time.
the rat. I could have started with Fenlurker, I guess, against Elder Spell. So, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these cards. All right, draw from dreams gone. It's a good card. Ritual of Set gone. I should have activated Fenlurker. Murderous Rider gone. Should have activated Fenlurker. Could have dealt another damage there. Yeah, so this deck can do, can just eat up the hand. So I just, I need to draw, if I draw a swamp, we win this by double activating Lurker. seven discard spells, three duress, and four of these things. Just discard seven cards. Mo poor Mogwai hasn't even cast a card and like everything's gone and didn't even cast anything and they're all gone. Finally got to cast a Drawn from Dreams. All right, two and zero here for mono black value. Rank up, almost a diamond now. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, that's all we need is a blood gas or tarmogoyf, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, we got there, Suvi Sock. I do not like this the look of this Dreadhorde invasion right about now. <laughs> Why are all these one drops different? I do like the look of this blast zone, though. Ugh, there's Cavalcade. Probably need a blast zone on two for Cavalcade, honestly. I'm glad we played Legion's End last turn and not the Dreadhorde Invasion. I need to play these non-swamps. Ooh, that's a good guess. No.
So if I blast zone right now, these are gone. And we just stay at eight. If I play Dread Presence, we go down to six and get to block, but then we then we can go swamp next turn. We didn't get to burglar rat. Make them discard the tor tor brand. We didn't get to do that. <laughs> get him, bagel rat. <laughs> this bagel rat. I'm telling you, these things are just so unassuming. People are probably like, oh, these are just crappy one ones, but they actually do a lot of work. We saw that that last game three and. They were going to do a lot there for us. All right, so let's take out these auto-lose-life stuff. <clears throat> Midnight Reaper is kind of that way, too. I'm going to play Elder Spell because three mana Chandra is so good. I'm not sure if I want... Like, do I want Liliana, or do I just play, like, some duresses? I don't know. Liliana. I don't know. All right, so duress is the other card that I could see playing. You know, we, we can't, we're not playing any of those five cards. So we could play duress. So do we want duress instead of Midnight Reaper, Liliana? I do like how duress gets, or sorry, how Liliana can minus and kill the 1-3 flyer. We're going to cut one Liliana, one Reaper, two Duress. You think I should take out both Lilianas and two Midnights for the four Duresses? Yeah, like this, this could be Duress. Which, with this hand, I'd probably rather have Duress. In fact, I would. Thanks, Ascoria. Yeah, that that was a, a good win against Flash there yesterday. Coil and Frenzy. So they're they're playing Frenzy also. All right, so I I want Duresses more now. Them having Frenzies as well. Unfortunately, a Yara just gets coiled. Coil down. Ugh. That hurts. You need more control. Just let me burn. It's a really good card. Draw a swamp over here. Hey, go easy. I'm 
training here. Yeah, at least we have the Elder Spell in the deck. <laughs> that would not be a bad card to see. Yay, Swamp. Alright. Um, do I just automatically go Cavalier right away? I don't think so. Because I think they could have like the 1-3 Flyer. Good enchantments on a couple of good enchantments over there. All right, we got Murderous Rider as a good backup. Get our big life linker in play. So many cavalcades. Oh. oh man. I thought that was I thought that was Torbran at first, because Torbran I think was just lethal. Three, six, nine, twelve. No, Torbran wasn't quite lethal. Okay. No, because they would have done twelve and then would have blocked. Alright, three no. Good thing we had all that, all that life link there and life gain, dread presence, Cavalier of Night. Torbron was lethal. Well, not not with the, the Chandra, because if there's if it was Torbron, there wouldn't have been Chandra, right? Because like the mana for mana wise. So like if there was no, if there was no um, Chandra, Torbran um, would have. Like they would have, been, they had like four. They had the three cavalcades plus the spitter activation, so four of those. So that's four times three is twelve, and we were at fourteen. And then you know the one one we get to block with the two three, so the life link. So we wouldn't have quite died. This deck's just fun to play. I like this deck. Mono black value. Hello. Colors. All right, so I've never, I don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I've played against a Golos deck with this deck before. So this will be new. Let's start attacking this hand. Yeah, get that crisis out of here. That's definitely worth it. Come on, land drop. 
not a land drop. I want land drop because I want to be able to play Wrinkle next turn. I guess they have the Grazer to block Wrinkle, though. <clears throat> but yeah, our opponent's deck is definitely the kind of deck that, that really cares about all the resources they can have. So cutting down resources, you know, getting rid of a land, getting rid of a crisis. These are... These are important. Come on, land. No. No land. See, even if they chump block with Grazer for one turn, then, you know, Rankle would be able to hit the next turn. Make them sack the Golo so we'd have the Legion's End for the Zombie Tokens. Um, yeah, Rakdos Aggro has a lot of really good cards. We're gonna I haven't I haven't played the deck yet, so we're gonna we're gonna play that, you know in a little while. And it'll be interesting to see. Now they don't have any cards in hand, so they don't need to block Rankle as much here now. I'm glad they did, though. They didn't want to attack with Golos and let me be able to chump block and draw a card. How I missed a land drop. Alright, so we'll... Next turn, we Legion's End. And then we're going to make them sack Golos. So then they'll be in top deck mode. They just got... You know, that Golos just got five cards out of their deck, though. You know, got four lands in the circuitous route, so that was just like a draw five that turn. It's pretty awesome. Oh, come on. Another Grazer to block. That's really unfortunate. Oh, well, we just drew lands. We could just we can just Cavalier Knight kill this thing. I guess it's better to sack Burglar up, but whatever. Yeah, they did draw well this game to to get them to have this many resources, but hopefully this Legion's End really helps out. Hopefully they just draw a land or two. Yeah, that's fine. And nothing too crazy. Is it worth it to play Dreadhorde Invasion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nope. Yeah, you cannot order the wrinkle triggers. They always happen top to bottom here. Cannot change that.
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Should be lethal. So what we wanted to happen was them just draw a couple of lands. Alright, so need all the Legion's Ends. Is Ashiok good in this matchup? I know it stops Circuitous route. That's kind of it though, right? Isn't it just Circuitous? Oh, Golos also. So Golos and Route. Ashiox godly in the matchup. All right. Yeah, we'll play some Ashiox then. So we're going to cut these Dreadhorde invasions. We think about, like, Liliana and Citadel. Midnight Reaper. I'm bringing in a bunch of threes. I probably need to cut some threes. Midnight Reaper is probably worse than a Yara, which with a Yara being able to block two twos. Yeah, I could definitely see having duress. I did wander. As you can see, we are 3 0 on the day. Um, yeah, I could definitely see playing some duresses. They have a lot of creatures in their deck. And we cut Midnight Reaper, get two of these, and one Lily. Oh, no, 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 come on! Uh, why does the cyborg thing go away? No. That's so sad. That's so sad. So yeah, we didn't get to cyborg, unfortunately, so no Ashiox or anything. They just I guess Midnight Reaper is good against Realm Cloak Giant. So they just played that growth spiral but didn't play a land. And all right, so now the keeps yeah it keeps moving up. So now the the cyborg timer ends at about seventeen seconds. Gross. Yeah, correct. D Divest was in Dominaria, so it is not in Standard anymore. That would be a pretty good card for this metagame. Lots of creatures everywhere. Because Divest was creature or Planeswalker, right? Pretty sure it was or Planeswalker. All right, we're, def we're both discarding here. I think I just discard a Yara. It's either a Yara or a Murderous Rider. I think I want to keep the backup Rankle in case of Wrath. I 
Yep, we'll trade a Yara for Krasis. It's a good trade. Taking another seven, huh? Down to four. If they just cast Realm Cloak Giant, we can have lethal because Rankle, Rankle can you know make them lose a life also. So Rankle can attack for four. March of the Multitudes. I was like, I was like, okay, well that game's done. Now we can go to sideboarding and we can actually sideboard. That's what I was thinking, in in my mind. But then uh, realized, wait, we don't need to. <laughs> no, good brother says I won six games in a row with Simic Ramp last night. And then realized I wasn't playing ranked. Uh. <laughs> so we're we're almost to diamond now, because yet you know, because the rankings just reset. So we we're like one win away from going to di you know, getting through platinum to diamond, and then we got to get through diamond to mythic. All right, one more match here with mono black value. This is my. Uh, probably my favorite deck here in this format. Um, I don't know exactly what would replace Dread Presence. Um, they're probably, like, you probably can get uh, away with not playing Dread Presence. I like them myself, but maybe it'd have to be, like, more, like, another Cavalier of Night. You kind of just add in some extra numbers in different spots. Like an extra Cavalier of Knights, for example. I think a Dreadhorde Invasion in play. You can just kind of put in some other, you know, really good cards that cost, you know, two to five mana. You know, like Doom Whisper. Yeah, Doom Whisper would be a, a good card. You could certainly fit in there.
right, Tulsum are down. Obviously, we're both sacrificing. I think that's it. I don't think we want to do discard because we want to make sure we can hit land drops to Citadel, I think. Hey, Converse. What if Franco wasn't legendary? Be awesome. Busted, yeah. It'd be, yeah, it'd be real good. Citadel doesn't look so great here. Losing too much life. Can't afford to play that card. Can I go down to three? No, I can't. How am I gonna gain life? That's how I'm gonna gain life. Guess I should attack. I should have attacked first. I can't go to attackers, obviously, after playing it, because they just killed a Liliana, so I have to activate right now, but I could have dealt one damage.
So yeah, obviously that really hurt. That and then you know, not being able to draw the two cards there now Tulsimer. Killing Dread Presence. My opponent's drawn really well. Can't they just draw more lands? The Citadel. Or like, really, I don't know. It's Invasion. Losing too much life here. I think I should just have three Lilianas. The Citadel has not been too impressive. Like, if I just had, a, you know, another Lil... You know, if that was, like, a Liliana that I played, and, you know, it would have died to the Murderous Rider, but then I would have had another Liliana. I kind of feel like maybe these should just all be Lilianas. Um, yeah, I don't know. Clackbridge Troll, yeah, it could be a, a decent fit. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like, there's that, there's Doom Whisperer. There's, there's other good cards to play. Them, ha them having double removal spell back to back for the wrinkles really hurt. Need to hit one more time with wrinkle, one more hit. I'm going to play Sit over Legion's End. Just a bunch of random things to sit away from their deck between Murderous Riders, Kethys, Paradise Druid. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling a third Liliana instead of the the bull of citadel because yeah we don't have we have some lifelink but we don't have very much lifelink I'd rather have a Yara in play than Midnight Reaper first, but I think if I play a Yara, they would probably kill a Yara right away. So at least Midnight Reaper. Yeah, like they have like the the Murderous Knight, and so this draws us the card. So good call, me. Do the same thing. Could have used the land. <laughs> Go get them, bagels. That's the stand up. <laughs> I do like this as Bagel Rat. It's a good nickname there.
Still taking out Midnight Reaper. That was a pretty nice for my opponent there. Yay, land. Want to make Tulsimer not cost too less. <laughs> I had a friend call him that, and I can't not call him that now. No. Of course, if Cavalier of Night does die, then we can get a Yara back into play. Also, I'm not going to attack, though. I don't think that's it. That's not a good trade, though. The three-three for the four-five. Um, let us march into battle and make new comrades. but effective. Alright, time to try to ground the, grind this down. Ugh. Death won't conquer me so easily. That's bad. And we're still we're in a we're in a really good spot. Having dread presence in Cavalier of Night. Could just start trying to machine gun each turn there. So they they definitely have like instants available here. You know, like they didn't even play the murderous rider over there, so I'm just gonna kinda pass. Oh no, I don't even know if that's worth it. We'll just lose three and draw a card. Draw three cards. Uh, thank you so much there, Slim Jim. I appreciate that. Thanks for the tier one sub. 
Sub number four on the day. Getting those hype votes in chat. Yeah, Liliana's pretty great with this deck. All right, so we should have three Lilianas. <clears throat> okay. I think I think we're gonna change that for the next time they play this. I I really like the other changes we made. You know, having Murder Strider in the deck for sure. Um, Dreadhorde Invasion's been okay. But yeah, definitely feeling like Citadel's been disappointing. Liliana's been awesome. Citadel's really the best, of course, against control, like, you know, against, like, a Grixis deck like we played earlier. Um, but still, I kind of don't really want the life loss with, like, having invasion and stuff like that, too. I think we should just play more Lilianas. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the command in over a Dreadhorde Invasion. If if we get, like, the thing is, is, like, it's, it's command the Dreadhorde is worse on the draw. Kind of wish I would have had it on the play. Because on the play, as you can see there, we got to just kind of be ahead, stay ahead. Our life total was high. That's really where command the Dreadhorde would be better there when we're on the play. But we'll try it out here on the draw also. Alright, so Knight's an awesome one drop. Fortunately, our opponent was on a five card hand, though. Mm. But it's a good, it's a good hand. Good fast start. have a Ritual of Soot in here. I'd love to draw a Ritual of Soot. Of course, my plan here is to have Midnight Reaper block the Paragon. Wow. Yeah, we could definitely lose this. This looks really bad. Yeah, that was a perfect five card hand against my slower hand, for sure. I'm pretty sure that's just lethal, right? Yeah, that was a that was an amazing hand. No, there's no outs. So I need to Murderous Rider last turn and not Midnight Reaper. But still, I'm up against it because they would have the Rider for whatever I play. I mean, it's the end of the match, so 
<laughs> Revealing anything doesn't matter. That was game three. Time to test the so that was pretty unfortunate. That was just a, a perfect, perfect hand there. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I could have sideboarded better for that. I could have had more Legion's End in and everything. Um, yeah, that was just unexpected there. Oh, well. That's a that's a disappointing way to lose a to not go 5-0 <laughs> with the deck, though. Um, but, yeah, so moving forward, I, I want to take out the Citadel. I want to play a third Liliana. I still want the Command the Dreadhorde in the sideboard. Um, but and, and I think I do want third Liliana over third Cavalier of Night. I think I like having two Cavalier of Night. There, there's definitely times the Cavalier of Night saved us. But I playing three, it can get real clunky if you don't have like anything to sacrifice. If you're just playing five mana, four, five, it, it can be a little rough. Dreadhorde Invasion wasn't... I don't know. I don't know about this card still. It was a it was it was definitely good at times. It was also kind of bad at times with the life loss. So I, I'm not sure there. That's something I I'm willing to keep trying. I think, uh, but maybe by the time we next next play the deck, I'll think of something else for the Dreadhorde invasion. Um, hey CW, yeah GG's there. Yeah yeah, your seven card hand was incredible, or your five card hand was incredible there. Um, yeah, I really thought I thought we were gonna be winning that. Um, but I, I had a slower hand. I had a slower hand, but that was that was about the only way I could lose. I I just took out the one the one two death touch creature for the invasion. Um, that's what I that's what I was playing before. I I'm willing to, I want to keep trying it out because you know basically invasion is just perfect with a Yara and Rankle. Like with with a Yara and Rankle, Dreadhorde invasion is incredible. Um, I want to I want to keep you know. We'll we'll keep thinking about that, but yeah, Murderous Rider was was an easy auto include. It was a lot better than Playcrafter uh, that I tried the first time. And yeah, last time I had Command the Dread Hordes and Liliana was a lot better than Command the Dread Horde, uh, and couldn't really afford the life loss. Castle was awesome. Really glad we have those. Um, there may be a better card than Blast Zone. Maybe a better card there than Blast Zone. I don't know. But yeah, I liked the Ashiox in the sideboard. I liked liked where our deck was at. You know, besides like that, um, you know, that one loss, you know, went 4-1. Very good record there for uh, mono black value there. Uh, I think this is, this is probably my favorite deck to play. I had a lot of fun playing this deck. This is a good one. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And please leave some comments as well. Let me know what you think about the deck and everything like that so let me know if you're playing the deck also at home uh let me know how's it going what are you what are you struggling against what are you doing really well with what cards do you like what cards do you not like uh what, you know what cards are overperforming or underperforming for you there um and all that kind of stuff uh yeah leave some feedback there um but thank you so much for watching some mono black value and i'll see you for the next video